The Wraith is one of the most iconic characters in Dead by Daylight, being one of the three original killers designed for the game, alongside Trapper and Hillbilly. The, the Wraith is specifically designed so that they are good for newcomers. That's why, uh, when a player completes the tutorial on the PC version, the Wraith is unlocked. And the Wraith is a very simple character, very simple power to cloak and get stealth and move a little bit faster without the ability to attack. Great for, for newcomers to quickly understand and get good at, and with some decent add-ons to enhance your power. Unfortunately for newcomers, two of Wraith's perks can actually outright harm your performance in a game, and the other one is a niche that you will never truly find use for on Wraith themselves. So, let's discuss what is wrong with Wraith's perks. Up first is, of course, Shadowborn. Now, Shadowborn is most likely the most used Wraith perk. Shadowborn has one effect to increase the FOV of a killer. It's kind of a meme perk, uh, but it can be useful on characters such as Blight, Huntress, and Deathslinger. Increasing FOV is actually pretty helpful, but it's not entirely worth using a full slot on for your character, and it doesn't really help Wraith any, in any specific way. Plus, for newcomers, Shadowborn is a bit of a trap, as Shadowborn increases your FOV, which widens your field of view for you to be blinded by. Unfortunately, for a newcomer, this could be very frustrating, as you're getting blinded from angles that you just don't expect. So, while Shadowborn has some use, it really isn't useful to newcomers. And then, the two next perks, Bloodhound and Predator, you would assume would be helpful for newcomers. Bloodhound makes it so that blood on the map is far brighter, so for easier tracking. And, theoretically, Predator rearranges how scratch marks from a survivor are shown, which should, in theory, make it easier to track. But in practice, Predator actually makes it much more difficult for people to track as killer, as there is very little scatter in the scratch marks, which makes it so they don't typically appear on walls and they get obscured on the ground. They can be beneath grass, they can blend into environments like the decimated Borgo, and here, as you can see on the match on Coldwind that I have, they just entirely vanish into the corn. Uh, for someone who's partially colorblind, it really, really makes it rough. And Bloodhound has basically one use, and that's for people who are learning spirit. But it really isn't helpful. These perks aren't necessary, and definitely are not useful to someone who's just starting out in the game. So I believe that the Wraith deserves and is in desperate need of a full perk rework. Now, I will be honest, every perk on the Wraith, I am basically going to be removing and replacing. However, one perk will actually remain. Uh, well, one perk that encompasses multiple of his perks. The perk that that would be would be called Eyes of the Fog, in reference to how various killers, such as Wraith, have the glowing white eyes. Now, Eyes of the Fog would still be a niche perk, but one that would help out new killers a lot more. Eyes of the Fog would replace Shadowborn, Bloodhound, and also from the hillbilly, Lightborn. This would allow for you to still have a very, very minor increase to tracking potential with Bloodhound with the blood appearing brighter on the ground, but you also get the added bonus of having an FOV increase, and also making it so that FOV increase does not directly harm the player. 
Lightborn is a very beginner friendly perk that makes it so that you cannot be blinded. In this scenario, I would remove the aura reading aspect of Lightborn, as I believe that's a bit too overpowered of uh, an ability for this one perk to encompass. But I feel like this should be good for newcomers to the game, making it so they have a bit of an easier time tracking and better ability to pressure without having to worry about flashlights, flashbangs, and firecrackers. I originally thought about including Predator in this as well, but the scratch mark layout just makes that perk a detriment more than anything else. So for better or for worse, I believe Predator should be removed from the kit of Wraith entirely. The Wraith is also severely lacking in their gen pressure in their base kit. While yes, they can traverse the map very quickly and add-ons can help them kick gens faster, overall their perks do not help at all when managing gens, and for new killers it is very, very important for them to learn how to manage gens, gen spread, and regression. So. What I propose would be a perk similar to Overcharge from the Doctor. This would be called Wailing Wrecker. Wailing Wrecker would work in that a killer would kick the gen and it starts regressing at a slower rate. Similar to Overcharge but actually slower than Overcharge itself because the effect is going to be a bit more powerful. So. The next time a survivor interacts with the gen that has been kicked, they are forced to do a difficult skill check. And if this skill check is failed, it would have the same effect that Eruption used to, which is it would incapacitate the survivor, making it so that they cannot work on gens. I feel like this fixes the fundamental flaw with the original Eruption, which was that it was not reliant on player skill, it was down to luck. Th in this way, Wailing Wrecker would make it so that if the survivor becomes incapacitated, it's on their own skill level. And this would also help Wraith and killer uh, new killers by having some form of gen regression. I don't think that uh, it should amp up in power over time. I think it should just be a simple flat rate of regression for a short duration of time, but have the skill check built in. I feel like it would be a strong benefit to their kit. Now of course every killer's main goal and main priority is killing survivors, and both new and old killers fall into the same trap of always attempting to tunnel because it is simply a very strong strategy for them. And it's not particularly fun for either side to simply go after the same person again and again and again and again. So, something that would be useful would be a perk to de-incentivize tunneling, and I can't think of a better killer to have it than Wraith, who is the beginner killer. The perk I have in mind to counter tunneling would be referred to as the Bell's Toll. It would be an incentive against tunneling for killers. So, for each unique survivor hooked in a match, you will gain a token. When four tokens are reached, survivors are inflicted with exhausted for 30 seconds, which is useful especially for a stealth killer like Wraith, as it would allow them to traverse the map and pressure gens and pressure people off of them without having to worry about sprint burst and life. And then, for the next bonus, when 8 tokens are reached, or getting 2 hooks on each survivor, you will recover more quickly from missed attacks and stuns, similar to Enduring and Unrelenting. Now, this may not sound very powerful, but I think it would still be a good incentive and would teach good habits in new killers. And of course, I think we should have a blood point bonus for each token received, as I feel like that would be the biggest draw for new players. 
Now, that's the Wraith handled, however, if you remember back to the first perk I shared, it did replace Hillbilly's perk, Lightborn. So, since I think Hillbilly's perks are actually good overall and doesn't need an entire video to dis discuss how to fix them, I will simply put that perk rework here. It would be a perk referred to as Broken Burst. The break action triggers a 5% haste boost for 5 seconds when in chase. Nothing flashy, but could be good for ending loops faster for newer players, and would definitely help for our chainsaw-wielding friend, the Hillbilly. So, what do you think about my reworks? Let me know in the comments below, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!